That is here. Royal. Regal. Imperial? August? <laughs> Majestic. You know something? There just isn't any better way to put it than... Would you like to be queen for a day? Once again, from Hollywood's great Moulin Rouge Theater Restaurant, Pan American Coffee Bureau, who says, On a break, make it coffee, make it often, make it right. x lax the laxity that helps you towards your normal regularity gently overnight, and Heart Mountain, the pet product for happier, healthier pets, proudly present Queen for Today, the Cinderella show, starring the one and only king of Queen for Today, Mr. Jack Bailey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I slipped past the word imperial in this dictionary a minute ago. I shouldn't have because it reminds me that our gold imperial from Chrysler is waiting outside the Moulin Rouge and it's waiting to take today's queen on a really big day in movie land. She has to be one of the four candidates that we'll be meeting on our show today and we'll say hello to number one in just a moment. But first, keeping your cat playful as a kitten is easy. To tell you how, here's a word about Hearts Mountain. Now, here's a happy cat. What's he so happy about? Why, brand new Heart Mountain Cat Yummy. You know, giving your cat or kitten a few yummies between meals is just about the nicest thing you can do for him. That's because new cat yummies are tempting little tidbits specially made from fish, liver, meal, and cereal. The foods and flavors cats and kittens just can't resist. Now, cat yummies are nourishing, too, and good for your pet. Veterinarian approved and made without sugar... They give your cat the extra vitamins and minerals between meals that will make him more playful, more frolicsome, and more fun as a pet. So be nice to your pet in the nicest way of all. Keep a package of Hearts Mountain Cat Yummies on hand always. And say, if you have a dog, remember him between meals with Hearts Mountain Dog Yummies, the candy-like treat that all dogs love. Look for Hearts Mountain Dog Yummies and new Hearts Mountain Cat Yummies in the bright orange packages, wherever pet products are sold. Made only by Hearts Mountain. Ed, you got me a nice lady here to visit with. I want to thank you. How do you feel, Viva? Good. Bert? Right. B-I-R-C-H. Well, that's nice. Where are you from, Viva? In Berlino. Yeah, you lived there all your life? Oh, 13 years. Were you born around here? Missouri. <laughs> what, what town? Framer, Missouri. Yeah? And what's Mr. Bert to do up there in San Bernardino? He's a salesman. Yeah? What's he sell? Well, he tries to sell money. <laughs> The people don't seem to have it now to sell. <laughs> oh, he's an investment broker without any brokering, huh? Yeah. How about children? I have two. Good for you. How old are they? Uh, Thirteen and five. Well, that's just wonderful. Now, Miss Burke, I think you'd wish I had something to do with one of the children, or both. Yes. Huh? My boy. Yeah, what's his name? John Vernon. Old John? What's the matter with old John? Well, he's crippled up with cerebral palsy. Is that so? Yes, sir. And he's uh, not how old? Thirteen? Thirteen. Yeah, he's had it quite a while. How can we help John? Well, he needs a wheelchair, and he needs a special bike to exercise him. Yeah. Had you promised him this by any chance? Yes, I had. Well, why didn't you keep your promises, Ma? Well, I had to go to the hospital and have my legs operated on, had to quit working. And what were you doing? Waitress work. Oh, boy. <laughs> 25 <laughs> that, years, I think. <laughs> 25 years, and that did it to your legs? It sure did. Did you work up in San Bernardino? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now you have to take it a little easier yourself. Well, I can't work. I sure keep my promise. <laughs> well, I bet you would keep your promise. Now, he's a 13-year-old boy, then he wants... Do you want a sort of a special bike? Uh, well, he needs it for exercising his legs. He's had quite a lot of surgery done, and yeah. they, they uh, require exercise. You bet your life. And a special wheelchair, and a, yeah. and a special bike, and a well, wheelchair. You have to stay home all the time. <laughs> you bet your life. Now, the other child okay? Oh, she's fine. That's great. You got one that needs a little special help. And if you're Vera Birch, Viva Birch, if you're our queen... We're going to get a wheelchair and a special bike, okay? Thank you. You keep well yourself. Goodbye, Viva. Thank you very much. You need a little help there with that boy. You know, we try to see that our queens get in on as many firsts as they possibly can, and believe you me, there's a dandy in store for today's royal lady. In fact, she'll have her own private screening of one of the most spectacular motion pictures ever made. 
The picture is Spartacus, the dramatic story of history's first freedom fighter, starring Kirk Douglas, Laurence Olivier, Gene Simmons, Charles Lawton, Peter Ustinoff, John Cavan, and Tony Curtis. And like I said before, our queen today will have her own personal preview. And now, before we meet candidate number two, why don't you watch this? <laughs> To brighten any moment. Make it coffee. To enjoy that fresh aroma. Make it often. Make it up fresh each time in a clean container and for full flavor. Make it right. And here's how. For each cup of fresh drawn water, use one approved measure of your favorite coffee. That's all. One approved measure per cup. Satisfying cups of pleasure. A coffee break makes the moment bright, fresh aroma. Flavor. Make it coffee. Make it often. Make it right. Now look who we've got here. You got a nice smile, and you and I know something a lot of other people know that the audience don't know about you. But we better find out who you are first. Kay McGrath. That's right. Where's your home? Canoga Park. And you, uh, uh, Mr. McGrath, lived there quite a while. Uh, the nine years we've been married. Good for you. Now, you turn around and tell everybody what just happened a couple, three months ago at your house. Well, we have uh, uh, baby triplet girls. <laughs> triplets? And how many children did you have before the three got here? Uh, four others. So uh, it's four and three, seven. That's right. I hope that's a lucky seven for you. What's Mr. McGrath do? Uh, he's a carpenter maintenance uh, man for the Board of Education. He's a sawer and a hammer. Yes. And he comes home with dirty overhauls and a big appetite. Yes, and he's up all night, too. <laughs> with the triplets, I think the whole family's up. Pretty much so. Yeah. Now, how are the little fellas? Are they identical trio, uh, triplets? Well, we have been told that they will be. Yeah? Of course, Bonnie is a little behind because she was in a children's hospital for two months. Oh, one of them had to stay behind? Yes. She's a little slower. That's right. I have her home with me now. Good. And then she's scheduled to go back in in six weeks when we have her up, about six weeks when we have her up to 15 pounds. Yeah. How much did the little fellas weigh when they got here? Well, one was three, three, <laughs> and uh, three, fourteen and a half, and Bonnie was five, nine. She was my biggest one. And she's the one who's been kind of sick. That's right. Now, are the girls are boys? They're all girls. All three girls. That's right. Oh, I'll bet old dad's down there strutting around. I should say. You've, uh, well, let me ask you this. Now, if you're like the queen for day, uh, you can't go on a trip, I don't suppose. What would you like? Well, I would like diaper service. Uh, <laughs> Are any of the other kids still in diapers? Well, my two-year-old isn't completely trained. Uh-huh. Uh, we're working on it, though. So. <laughs> Slow but sure. That's right. And along comes the three, and that's a lot of diapers, Ma. It is, and Bonnie requires special care for a while. Right. And we hope it'll be over in six weeks. It seems like you could use a few extra minutes yourself uh, with that's these children. That's the idea. <laughs> but your life. Well, if you're like the queen, diaper service you get for the uh, triplets, and uh, and uh, good luck with you now, and take care of that other little fella, huh? Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. You your life. And now, here to tell us about Her Majesty's royal wardrobe is our own first lady of fashion, Miss Jean Cagney. At uh, right here, that team there. Hello, Jean. Hello, hello, Jack. Thank you. Colors as rich and exciting as a Persian tapestry lend an oh, an exotic touch to our fashions today. And each is from one of the famous designers allowed to fit our queen. For instance, a gaily printed belt sparks the deep olive of the shirt waster by Serban in Miami. The slim line is emphasized by a twin row of buttons and baby doll sleeves. Her Majesty will travel in beauty anywhere with this quick tripper of cosmetics in the individualized studios of Merle Norman, including this creamy, smooth powder base. Bell sleeves, outlined in black, add interest to this cardigan neck dress. Marjorie Montgomery of California styled in a black and white tweed with a flaring gourd skirt. Now, Royal Lady's watch combines lifetime accuracy with timeless beauty. And diamonds flash from the tiny crowns of the Queen for a Day by Helbrose. Nodis of Dallas chose antique gold tones for this slim skirt and belted jerkin. Note the pockets on the full peplum. And with it, jewel tones of red and black in a horizontally striped jersey. 
There are styles for every occasion in the lovely shoes by Grace Walker, and Her Majesty will have a whole array, each pair fit for a queen. Persian shades of olive and mustard form the batik print of this charming poncho, and like all our queen's blouses from ship and shore, this cotton needs little or no ironing. There are delicate colors to rival an oriental print in the pairs and pairs of lovely nylons that Her Majesty will have from the magic motion knit looms of Mojud. And for afternoon into evening charm, Abe Reines fashioned this suit of black wool. The swim skirt is topped by a brief jacket piped in ebony satin. Flashing rhinestones set in silvery starburst form this delicate threesome from Sarah Coventry. You lend a hint of stardust to your favorite ensemble. White satin gleams under gold-colored lace for dusk to dawn in Chapman. And this cocktail dress from Mr. Morse, a belt of satin circles the waist above a floating skirt. My clothes are from Irene Somerset of the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, and fashions from these same designers will add an exotic charm to the bright future of our queen today. Constipation can be a problem for anyone. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from said they wanted a laxative that is effective, gentle, close to natural acting. A medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, X-Lax has been used with complete confidence by many doctors and millions of people over the years because pleasant-tasting chocolate and X-Lax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. X-Lax is so gentle so close to natural acting, there's no upset, no discomfort. So whenever your normal regularity is interrupted, you can rely on X-Lax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. X-Lax. Now we can talk candidate number three. I'm glad to see you. And I am uh, hope you're not too shook up about being here. How do you spell your first name? Marguerite. M-A-R-G-U-E-R-I-T-E. I wish you could see the way that Tom, our boy secretary, spelled that. Is your last name Mrs. Sulkin? That's right. Where do you live, Mrs. Sulkin? I live in Van Nuys. Were you born around here? No, I was born in Minnesota. Yeah? What town? Minneapolis. Well, we're from uh, the St. Paul Winter Carnival, a lot of us. We were out there. That's a big thing. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. How do you like it out here? You, I like it. You glad you come out? Yes, sir, I yes. am. It's not so cold in winter. No, that's right. Boy, George, yeah. Say, Mrs. Sulka, let's get right into what you want, and most especially why, and uh, you've got a good reason for being here. What, do you, what would you like if you're queen for a day? I would like to have a vacation, which I haven't had, because I had two handicapped sons. I lost them, and then I took care of an elderly lady in a wheelchair. She passed away, my mother and my father, and one month after my father, my husband passed away. Is I, and I feel that I would like to have a vacation, which I haven't been able to have because I have to work. All your life seems like your, your adult life you've been taking care of people. That's right, I have. I'm awfully sorry about and I believe, too, that your husband has passed away. That's right. As I told Mrs. Selka before the show, I will repeat, there is nobody had more bad luck than you had. And may I say one thing on our show, which uh, we don't often say, but you told that, and that was a hard story to tell, and you must have a wonderful, wonderful spirit, and we don't want to do anything to shatter that. Now, where would you like to go? Just uh, just get away and take a vacation and have a trip and uh, forget all of it and then start all over again, right? That's right. I don't care just so I could get away. That's the main thing, and we'll just take care of that, and uh, if you're elected our queen, you get your satchels packed and your lunch. No. No, we'll take care of that. We'll send you someplace where they'll feed you, okay? Thank you. Well, thank you, and uh, lots of good luck to you, Mrs. Selkwood. You must be a very brave lady. Go there with old Ed. She's a brave lady. The crown is all ready. We need only a queen. So part two of our show will now convene. Brought to you by Arrestin, the new all-family cough medicine by Johnson & Johnson, Staley's Laundry Twins, and new Super Starlight, the new non-fat dry milk that's now homogenized smooth. And now before we meet our final candidates, let's meet two of America's best-loved personalities, Elsie the Borden Cow and her spouse, Elmer. Elmer, is it on the front page? Where are the headlines about new Super Starlax, Borden's new non-fat dry milk? Does it say Super Starlax now homogenized smooth? 
Homogenized smooth. That's right. Homogenized smooth for faster dissolving, for fresher flavor. Hey, here's a picture. Yes, announcing Borden's brand new milk discovery, new Super Starlac. It's as smooth as homogenized for faster dissolving. Why, I hardly have to stir. And there are no pasty lumps either. Homogenized smooth also means fresher flavor. Real country fresh flavor. Why, it's good. Sure, the true milk flavor you'd expect from Borden's. And new Super Starlac costs only about nine cents a quart. So for faster dissolving, for fresher flavor, try all new Super Starlac, Borden's new non-fat dry milk that's now... Homogenized smooth. It is news. Hey, remember something. That Borden Starlac, huh? It's not only new, but it's downright delicious. That's Iowa for delicious. I know, Red, I just said to Red a few minutes ago, if you'd have stayed home and finished the dishes, you wouldn't have been in this mess. How are you feeling, Red? Arlene Harding? Yes, that's right, sir. Tell us where you live, please. Uh, 5925 North Whitnall Highway, North Hollywood. Well, that's great. We had everything but the phone number. What's Mr. Harding do? Well, he's a machinist. Yeah, you got children, haven't you? Oh, I sure do. How many boys? I have three boys. And one girl? Yes, that's right. Is the girl home with you? Yes, yeah, she's a nurse. Wonderful. See, now, but you're proud of her. Well, I sure am. What do the boys do? Well, I have two wonderful sons that are in the Navy. One's a petty officer. He's a career man. He's been there five years already. Good for him. He has jumped parachutes. Oh, brother, he's <laughs> doing it the hard way. Yeah, down in the middle of the desert now, Central. In the Navy? Uh, yes. Oh, dear, now what's happened to the Navy? They're over in the desert. Well, when they're not at my house, they're there. Yeah, now that has something to do with your wish, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, they're open in San Diego. I have another son that's uh, stationed. He's on the... Uh, he was at Lexington. Yeah. And, um, uh, Chris, when they're in, now they're in too, you know. <laughs> so every weekend I have uh, quite a lot of sailors in my house. Now, what do you want if you're queen for a day? I don't mind feeding them good, keeping the refrigerator full and, you know, doing everything to make them happy. But I feel very uncomfortable when they sleep about four in a bed, you know, yeah. and sleep in bags. And yeah. Then my one son in high school, he brought home a couple of his friends, so they slept in the garage that night. <laughs> How many guys do you got there at night over the weekend? Well, there's quite a few, I'll tell yeah. you. And uh, see, what my one son never knows how many of the other ones going to bring home, so, you know, they don't like to, uh, they, they know what it's like to be away from home and sure. not have anything to do on the weekend, so. So you need some help, but isn't that a, a wonderful feeling in your heart that your boys yeah. will bring those guys home? Oh, you, that, that's the most important thing. You bet your life. And you need some, as you said on your card, bunking equipment, huh? Yes, something like that. We'll get you some hammocks and some of those uh, stacked up beds and, oh, and folding beds. Oh, be wonderful. Maybe a few of the cook pots, too, because they get, you know, they're not quite large enough. All right, so you can cook a lot of beans. You've got to be a great mother, and I'll bet you are a, a wonderful house mother when those guys are there. And we're going to take care of those boys for you if you're elected our queen, okay? Well, thank you very much. Keep yeah. the Navy sailing. We need them. Thank you very much, Arlene Harding. <laughs> you bet you. You got something to say there? Yes, I have, Jack. When Today, are you going to say it? Right now. Is every this day? minute? Yes, sir. Well, we why, why don't you say it? Stop trying to. Oh, you're going to say it now. Okay, That's fine. the boy. Today is every day. We have gifts not only for our queen, but for every lady interviewed. Yep. First, the West End automatic griddle and server jumbo size with over 200 inches of cooking area. There's plenty of room to prepare two or three foods at once. And each lady will also receive this beautiful Hamilton Beach food converter. One powerful motor operates all three appliances can opener, salad maker, and meat grinder. Don't drop it. And all Hamilton Beach custom appliances what? are guaranteed for five years. There you go. Now, our candidates will enjoy brighter floors with less work, too, thanks to this new lightweight Hoover floor polisher. It will scrub, wax, and polish as well as beautifully dry, clean, and wet shampoo, carpets, and rugs. <laughs> and for our candidates' very personal pleasure, a gift of France's greatest and most exciting perfume, Fame by Corday. Anything can happen when you wear Fame. And now, before we have the final voting, here's a word from another gentleman who has something to say. Hello, I'm Wynne Foreman. This is new Arrest and Cough Medicine by Johnson & Johnson. It's a small bottle, and it costs a little more than ordinary cough medicine. Here's why. Many cough medicines simply don't contain an effective cough-stopping ingredient. Many others contain narcotics. But narcotics limit the amount you can safely take, therefore limit the effectiveness. Well, Arrestin has a new medical cough suppressant, Demothorphin. Demothorphin is non-narcotic, therefore safer, especially for children. And because Demothorphin is so safe, it can be used in greater amounts. 
That's why there's more safe cough suppressant in Arrestin than in any leading cough preparation. In fact, this little bottle contains more safe cough relief than ever before possible without prescription. It's as simple as that. Buy the little bottle that stops big coughs. You arrest in cough medicine by Johnson & Johnson. Now, you've heard each of our royal candidates, so we're going to have the voting, and we'll have a queen here just before you know it. Number one was Mrs. Viva Birch. Mrs. Birch has a boy who's 13, and he has cerebral palsy. She would like a wheelchair and a special bike for him. She was working, but it's impossible for her. She had a little operation, so that's what she'd like, a wheelchair and a special bike. Your applause for candidate number one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Number two is Mrs. K. McGrath. Mrs. McGrath had four children, and all of a sudden, she had triplets. The, uh, one little girl is a little take some special care. She's back home from the hospital, but she'll have to go back. And in order to get more time, she would like some diaper service for her triplets. Number two. Number three, Mrs. Margarita Sulka. Most of her adult life, she's been taking care of people. She took care of a lady for a living. She lost two sons and her husband and her mother. And she would like just to take a vacation and get away from the whole thing and start again. Number three. <laughs> Number four is Mrs. Arlene Harding. She has two sons in the Navy, and they got a lot of buddies they bring home, and Ma has a good time for them, but she's running out of sleeping space. She would like, as she says, bunking equipment. Number four. <laughs> Number one. Number one is Mrs. Viva Burt. Well, Mrs. Burke, you come right up here and get the crown, because by golly, you're going to be the queen just as sure as shooting a Mary Ann. I'm so proud you got out here and did the, something right. That's nice of you, Duchess. And now for the most thrilling moment of all, I crown you Queen Viva. Queen for a day, Queen Viva Burke. Now, Your Majesty, if you just take your place up there on the throne... Here comes the Duchess with your first gift, the Queen's bouquet of four dozen brilliant coronation red roses from our royal florist, Carl's of Hollywood. Now the moment is here when Queen for a day is happy to make your wish come true. We're going to see that that boy of yours has exactly the kind of bicycle he needs to provide that all-important exercise. And for the wheelchair, say, we'll go to the famous Everston Jennings Company and order one of their sturdy folding Everston Jennings chairs, and you just can't get a better one than that. And there's a sample of it right there. So much for your wish, Your Majesty. You'll also be going on a royal whirl of Hollywood with stops at such glamorous places as the Brown Derby for lunch with the movie and television stars, a personalized tour of Universal International Studios, dinner in the elegant splendor of the plush sportsman's lodge, and finally, the late show at the Crescendo starring Bob Newhart. You know, Baker, that's only the beginning. Really? Yes. You see, she's queen. Oh, that's right. That's why she's on the phone. I don't want you to forget stuff like that. And we have a lot of gifts. And here they start, beginning with this amazing new Revere still camera. Now, the camera that does all the thinking for you automatically is yours. And with the Revere, all you have to do is aim at something, and uh, the lens uh, is all set for you, and then just click her, and you get a picture. Well, of course, Your Majesty, to go along with your Revere camera... You'll also have this model 777 Revere projector. It's easy to load and simple to operate. Your Revere will give you amazing theater-like quality. Queen Viva, for instance, you could very well take this same picture when you visit the beautiful Jamaica Inn at Corona Del Mar on an all-expenses-paid weekend vacation. As a matter of fact, we got reservations there for you right now starting this coming Friday. So, Queen Viva, there you go. And incidentally, Your Majesty, why don't you take along this copy of the fabulous Spiegel catalog, take it right along with you. And that way, with the enclosed gift certificate, you may choose whatever suits your fancy and order it direct from Spiegel in Chicago. Now, of course, when that weekend vacation is over, you've got to come home, but look what you're coming home to. We have for you a kitchen. Now, look at this thing. On the left are four famous Westinghouse appliances. All four of them right there on one place, and any one of which you'll find a joy to use. What's more, they all operate off the very same motor, and of course you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. We also know that you'll enjoy using this complete set of handsome club aluminum holiday cookware. Permanently bonded and easy to clean, club aluminum has all the fine cooking qualities that have made it famous for years. Here's a gift that is sure to thrill you. In fact, it may even shock you if you're not careful. Your Majesty, here's your brand new... Double socket. 
ladies are always out of sockets, and I thought you ought to have a socket. <laughs> of course, on Queen for a Day, we don't give things away without a reason. So to make use of your double socket, take a look at what else goes with your socket. In one socket, you can plug in this brand new 100th anniversary model Adler sewing machine. <laughs> Capable of doing all the stitches you're ever likely to need or use. You'll have your choice of cabinets in either lime, oak, walnut, or mahogany. And in the other socket, you can plug in the amazing Waste King Universal Imperial Dishwasher Dryer. <laughs> Capable of holding a complete 14 place setting, the new Waste King scours every service in both the top and bottom baskets. And best of all, the Waste King Universal goes where you go. Finally, if I'm not mistaken, you said there were, uh, let's see, two children, you and dad is four in your family, which means uh, four dinners a night. So I'll tell you what, why don't we give you four complete frozen dinners, enough to last you an entire month. But that's not all. Why don't we also give you the perfect place to keep them? And here it is. That, Your Majesty, is your brand new gorgeous Frio Frost Amana Food Freezer. Now, it's built to hold over 500 pounds of food thanks to the Amana exclusive store more door. Amanomatic contact freezing makes it up to two and one half times faster than ordinary freezing. In fact, in your new Amana, frost never <coughs> forms. Well, Your Majesty, it's all yours. The gifts, the wardrobe, your wish come through, everything. And what's more, we'll ensure their safe arrival to you in the amount of $2,550. But we're not through yet. In a moment, we'll add still another surprise. You know, with the help of a ruler and some ordinary household towels, I'm going to give you a simple demonstration right now. Just look at this, will you? The same number of towels in each of these stacks. And yet, this stack is a full three inches high. Now, the reason, of course, is that the nice, fluffy towels have been rinsed with Stay Puff Laundry Rinse. Stay Puff does away forever with the coarseness and scratchiness caused by too many washings. Just add Stay Puff to your last rinse water and you can see and feel the difference as soon as your laundry dries. Terries like this fluff up to new life. And so does chenille. Woolen sweaters feel very much like cashmere. And even wash-hardened corduroy comes out velvety soft. And best of all, many pieces dry so wrinkle-free they don't even require iron. Try Stay Puff Rinse yourself and see what I mean. Now get either the handy full quart bottle like this or the economical half-gallon size. Remember, Stay Puff is guaranteed to get your washable softer, fluffier, and more wrinkle-free for your money back. Pink Stay Puff Laundry Rinse. And now, Your Majesty, here comes the surprise we promised you. It seems that that young son of yours, Morale, could use a little lift about now, so here's what we propose. Every teenager we ever heard of likes music. So you tell your boy to go out to the famous House of Sight and Sound and pick out a hundred dollars worth of his favorite records. Also, tell him to go to any bookstore of his choice and select a hundred dollars worth of reading material. Then for his sartorial pleasure, he can visit the Harrison Frank store in your neighborhood and select a hundred dollars worth of any kind of clothes he wants. And while we're talking about hundreds, here's another hundred dollars for him to use just any old way he pleases. Congratulations to you, and best wishes now for a thrilling race. Ha <laughs> ha, and make everybody happy now. Say good and say goodbye. Say we wish we could make every made in America sweet for every single day. Bye. Thank you. Stay tuned for about faces. Next for the most of these faces.